Hello and welcome to our final uh, speaker interview for uh, Nomos Birmingham. I'm joined by Mr. Panama Hat. Uh, hello, everybody. He is the third of our speakers, and as you all know, we are doing the event based on the loose idea of the the vanguard, the idea that you know we did the first event about community and localism and basic organization, and the second event we are doing about leaders and who emerges from that kind of soup of organization. Uh, do you want to give a quick intro about who you are? Because I, I do have your uh, your social media and stuff up here. I can I can shill on stream as well. So very good. Um, well, basically, um, I have um, my my background is mainly in philosophy and theology. Um, although I do read quite widely in other uh, other areas as well, um, and I basically have um, formulated uh, quite a lot of what I call uh, authentic, authentic reactionary philosophy um, about the West. Um, and uh, what I've been doing recently is basically trying to look at a way to perhaps blend that with more kind of um, active theory on what can be done, basically, um, because we're no, we're no longer in a position in which we can simply you know, sort of uh, shield ourselves away and try and live a kind of traditional, more wholesome life that's not sort of polluted with leftism and, and, and liberalism and things like that. Um, because, of course, we will be actively sought out and destroyed. Um, I think it was Charlemagne who said, you know, there is, there is nowhere to hide. Um, so I do think, yes, it is necessary for there to be a vanguard ready. Um, and um, I've also uh, uh, realized in recent uh, readings that um, the groups that tend to win out, whether it's a whether it's a kind of uh, progressive revolution or whether it's a reactionary coup or any kind of sort of quick political change, the groups that win out are those which are best organized. Um, so I think basically our goal here, or the goal that I now what what I see is the purpose of our community is to build basically a kind of officer corps um, that is that is very well organized, very well interconnected and intelligent and adaptable um, to changes in how things go and kind of um, uh, uh, able to um, take a realist view of things with a unified vision and, and go forward, basically. Yes, I do remember distinctly your speech from the Shieldings event, which was actually, I think, one of the... Uh... One of the finest speeches there, not to disparage the speakers, but it did stick out in my mind. It stuck much. with me as well with the your rea uh, authentic reactionary speech and about creating kind of a bastion within yourself and kind of yeah. you know the vanguard within yourself. You first have to be your own vanguard before you can be anyone else's, yeah. um, which I thought was a, a very good and very uh, relevant idea. It's actually part par of inspired by the theme, the event as I have. Um, but it's yeah, it is true that we've 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 talked at length. A lot of people have had the convergence of thoughts about localism, and um, I'm currently I've got your YouTube channel up. Uh, for those who want to follow you, you are Panama Hat on YouTube and at yeah. Verse by Hat on Twitter. Yes, indeed. Um, I will do the. I also I also have a Substack, um, which is going, and uh, there's a I can't resist the opportunity to show there's a. Uh, Kofi uh, link on my page and uh, all, all all donations to keep it ticking are uh, very very much appreciated. I'm, I'm trying to find is your Substack linked on your uh, YouTube channel? No, I'm 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 appallingly bad at uh, at this sort of stuff. So no, it hasn't been linked yet. Um, all right. But, uh, if, you, <laughs> if you type in uh, if you go to uh, Panama Hats um, Substack, type it in on Google, it, it it'll, it'll come up. Um, Okay, yeah, you yep. you also have yeah. a a little collection of winter songs that I actually own. So um, oh, very good, thank you. <laughs> I put that put it on screen for some people. But yes, I do own yeah. your little winter songs book. It's only yeah. I think it was cheap when I bought it. Um, it was only quite a small run, but it's it's only about twenty five thirty pages. But it is it is a nice kind of little book of verse. A, I like that. It was, I a, like uh, it was a it was a small because I um I guess. In a sense, professionally, I'm I'm a poet. I I I publish quite a lot of poetry, and I've, I've, that's my main sort of art, if you will. Um, and uh, I thought maybe I'd begin to introduce um some recently written poetry to this community, um, because I do believe that one of the most important things that a community like ours needs to do is create art and to have a bastion of of artists, basically, who can create visual arts, written arts, 
you know, music, anything. Um, because we're at a point now where in the complete and total ruins of, of, the, of, the, of the culture of its band, to the point where um, I know AA likes to talk about being in the, the, in the ashes of civilization. I always say that, well, we don't even have the ashes, you know. No, um, <laughs> we are we really of the ashes, yes. <laughs> exactly. We, we, need to, we need to build something holistic. Um, and so, yes, since, since I have practiced uh, poetry and, and largely given my life to literature, um, I thought I would see how the community reacted. And since it's gone well, I intend to do more of that, bring out kind of um, novels and, and books of poetry and things specifically aimed at this at this uh, community. Like the that collection of poetry was very specifically chosen and some of the poems were written specifically for that book, basically just to see how people would react to it and to, you know, to, to create some art specifically for um, this community as it stands. I think it's very important. It's very important to have art that comes from this community and you have incidental things that come from like that almost to, to have yeah. a, a rounded culture that isn't just kind of culture war politics, really. Um, yeah, exactly, exactly. Talk about some of the normal event stuff. We do still have some tickets available, uh, but they are very limited. We have had a bit of a surge in demand. We've all, I've also limited a little bit the uh, capacity because I had to give the final numbers to the venue. Uh, so that will be around about 80 people, including the speakers. So that's not, not too, too bad. Um, it's about 10 more than we had last time, so that's fine. I know a lot of people aren't available currently. Um, uh, the early bird tickets are sold out as they were last time, but general admission, I think we have about eight tickets left, uh, maybe seven at this juncture. So uh, if you do want to come, uh, do do get those rather quickly. Buy them now. Yes, yes, do, do buy now. Um, I, I'm not, there's not really much else really I want to say. Uh, I could run down a couple of the... We, we recently gave out an update to people, but if people are wondering about how the event will run, uh, we have some pre-event stuff on the Friday. There is the, the dinner with the speakers, but that sold out quite a while ago. But if you are in the Discord, or if you contact me on any social of my social media platforms that are linked in the description, there is a, uh, a Basket Weavers, which is the kind of community-oriented group uh, event going on on the Friday. Um, so, and on the Saturday, we'll be starting at around 6 p.m. At, uh, there'll be food at about 7.30. We have booked a full hot buffet. Uh, that's where quite, not quite a lot, but about half the ticket price has gone to that. We want to make sure people are well fed. Um, and we will have use of the hotel bar both before and after the event if people want to meet up and say hello. Um, Logistically, I'm not sure there's much else. Like I said, there is a Discord that we have if, if people want to get in there and ask specific questions. Uh, is there anything else you want to shill um, before we depart um, here? No, not other than that. Um, keep an eye on my channel for a new video this week on the philosophy of war. Um, other than that, nope. Uh, already done everything, I think. All right. Well, these are quite brisk interviews. They're being quite efficient here, and I also don't want to waste people's time. So uh, thank you, Mr. Panama Hat. And Absolutely. Thanks I will, you too. Yes, I will see you and hopefully other people in the audience at the event. So. Yes, indeed. Uh, next, next, next Friday. So not very far away now. No, next Friday or Saturday, depending on when you can attend. So thank very you, good. guys, and goodbye. All right.